right, Damon, it's Thursday afternoon, and that means I'm officially looking ahead to the weekend, specifically this Labor Day, Day. Yep. weekend. Yep. Is this beautiful sunshine that we're having today going to stick around through the rest of the weekend? I wish Mother Nature cooperated a little bit more Never these does. holiday plans. No, Never does. <laughs> I mean, we'll have some sunshine, no question. Yes. But uh, yeah, things are going to be a little bit more interesting. Now, for the time being, oh, yeah, it's downright beautiful. And if you decided, hey, I wanted to take an extended Labor Day weekend, well, you picked the right days to get out there and enjoy the nicer weather. Look at this. We're warming up pretty steadily into the 80s now that we are just past noon, and we will continue to see these readings go up for the next few hours this afternoon. 84 DC Waldorf, 80 in Hagerstown and Martinsburg, and then we still have 79 in Winchester, but we are all well on our way into the 80s. Now, of course, it's still going to feel decently comfortable because it's not as breezy as yesterday, but we still have a west northwest wind at 5 to 10 miles an hour, keeping things moving and also keeping that lower humidity air in place. And of course, that also means very little cloud cover and really nothing at all going on on the satellite and radar picture. You're just going to see those occasional clouds and that's about it because our friend high pressure, it was all the way up across the upper Midwest and Great Lakes yesterday. It's now settled off to our south and west, but it's starting to move off to the east here today. And eventually as this high moves east of us, we'll start to see those temperatures go back up, some humidity enter back into the picture. And then as we go down that line of succession here, that means some storms could be possible, but at least for now, it's a beautiful start to this month of September with the sunny skies, the comfortable air. There we go. The humidity rises and the clouds start to return tomorrow into the day on Saturday as the holiday weekend gets started, but then we'll have chances for isolated showers and storms Sunday and likely into Labor Day. Again, the disclaimer here, it's not going to be a washout, but we will be dodging some of those storms out there for the holiday, and then the weather pattern is not really going to change. All that much as we get into the middle of next week, staying a bit warm, muggy with slight chances for showers and storms. So this future cast is going to be looking a lot more green as we move into the weekend, but for the time being, there is not going to be much popping up here. Look at that through this afternoon, how sunny it is going to stay. There's those few clouds that could pop up as we get into the warmest hours of the day, three, four, five o'clock. Pretty clear tonight with a north wind really starting to bring in some cooler, crisp air. And then as we go into the day on Friday, it stays just as sunny, but we'll start to notice that wind direction gradually change to be more out of the south. And that's when we start to pull in that added moisture and the cloud cover starts to become a little bit more of a factor as we get into that first day of the holiday weekend on Saturday. Now, temperature wise, again, we're just going to steadily warm up but still feel comfortable today as we will have widespread middle and upper 80s out there by 4 to 5 o'clock. Then watch this. It was a little bit cool out there last night, but tonight under that clear sky, widespread upper 50s out there with just a few middle 60s in place in and around the D.C. metro before we do start to warm right back up again as we go into the day on Friday. So it's turning out to be a pretty nice forecast. Now we will warm up there on Saturday and then we will have chances for isolated showers and storms Sunday and into your Labor Day.